good afternoon or good morning or good evening wherever you are in the world I'm here in Homer Alaska and the Sun is shining so you'll have to excuse the dark glasses and I am Skywalker Payne founder of what vibrant velvet voice and I'm here today to talk to you about overcoming fears anxiety and depression because we're living in a time when so many people are suffering and there are valid reasons to be depressed or to feel anxious or afraid and if you watch the Democratic Convention our leaders our form our last president gave a warning that some said was fearful but I say it was pragmatic but I don't want to talk about politics right now I want to talk about overcoming and recognizing what we are afraid of and how we can end the fears so I have notes today <laughs> And even if you're not watching the news, even if you don't watch TV, even if you are completely dedicated to your work and being positive and not hearing anything negative, we're all affected by what is going on in the world around us. And some of us aren't able to isolate so completely from the negativities. Some of you are mothers who've lost their jobs who are trying to figure out how you're gonna pay your bills and take care of your kids some of you are online entrepreneurs wondering how you're gonna make the money you were making or plan to make when everybody's afraid to spend money especially on something new or something that doesn't satisfy an elemental need such as food shelter clothing and I'm in that same position. But every day I keep hearing things that make me know people need a good word. People need to know there's gold and light at the end of this tunnel. People need to be able to hear we can find alternative ways of dealing with what we're dealing with every day. And many people are talking about we have to might have to do business differently. Let's look into bartering. Let's look into helping each other out. Because here in Alaska, yesterday, I heard the local director of economic development for the peninsula. And the peninsula is equivalent to a county. The director of economic development said people need to look out and care for each other because come October and November, people will be really hurting. Some people will. And that the mental health problems may increase because people will have more anxiety and depression. As funds decrease, there is things we can do though, and there is more than just hope. We have an alternative but I want to talk about three things today that can help immediately to alleviate some of your stress and worry first is to reach out and collaborate with other people collaboration can take many forms and we'll talk more about that second use gratitude and the practice of gratitude to stimulate you to think creatively for innovation and pivoting in your work in your business in your family at your home and in yourself and the third thing is to vote because that is the ultimate tool we have the only tool we have to help correct some 
of these things that have been happening and impacting everyone from the environment to the pandemic. And let's not even talk about the racism too. So the first thing you can do is to reach out and collaborate. Collaborate is an act of collective coming together to achieve an agreed on objective. People collaborate in food banks, in food co-ops, doing community cleanups. So I would say, and I think I've heard that some mothers are beginning to collaborate with childcare. I mean, think about it. If you're a group of mothers who live in the same neighborhood or the same apartment building, and right now, depending upon your lockdown status, you could work together and schedule who can take care of the children on what days and what hours so other people can work online or out of their house. These are the things we're going to have to think about doing to help each other. And it will be increasingly more important if people fail to take the social and political actions that can bring about change. We will have to depend more and more on each other, on friends and family. So collaborate is one simple thing you can begin to do today to help alleviate your fears and your worry and your depression. I've been collaborating. It was my act of collaboration which has helped me to move forward in my business and being a freelance person and a consultant. I was reaching out to make friends and expand my group and met a young woman who led me to her business, which is a virtual agency and more, and led me to another person who has the Veterans Home Front. His name is Anton Hines, and Veterans Home Front is based in Virginia. And it's a community outreach for veterans. It's been in existence for 10 years, working on donations. And I'm working with them now, helping them to raise money to help prevent veteran suicide and help find homes and jobs and stimulate business among homeless vets. And I'll be putting a link below for their fundraising event, 22 push-ups on August 22nd, because every 20, 20, because 22 vets are committing suicide every day. And that is sad. So my collaborating with him and with Angelique and the VA agency gave me work but it's also giving me a good feeling that not only am I working and making good money, I'm helping a cause that's important. And that's why anything you do with the intention, if you have the intention, and it was my intention and to be able to work and make money doing what I do best. And the same can be for you, but it takes concentration it takes dedication it takes always being grateful for what you do have and looking at what you have to be grateful for and say how can I use what I'm grateful for to help others and the third thing I've forgotten to add this to my group so I'm gonna share now to my groups though there's probably not many and it's not letting me share. So I'll continue with the third thing you can do now to improve how you feel, to improve your life, is to register and plan and make arrangements to vote. I'm not going to do a political announcement because if you watch the Democratic campaign, which was not only inspiring, it was even entertaining. But what made me cry <clears throat> for almost through the whole of 
Kamala Harris's speech, but through other presentations on that night, was that I heard for the first time in four years the word compassion, the words empathy, the words of helping others, coming out of the mouths of politicians. For the past three years, I've been talking about our need to practice compassion. These are the things that need to be done. And sometimes I feel like, why am I out here talking and no one's watching? But when I watched that convention, I knew that my words, and I'm not the only one saying this, the words of many people are put out in the universe and then they are captured by the politicians and given to the people. And what we need is compassion and kindness and empathy and courage and work. It takes work to overcome fears. It takes hard work to overcome anxiety and depression. But you can do it. And you can do it without drugs. You can do it by caring for others, by being grateful, by collaborating, and by getting involved in voting. And if you don't have anything else to do, volunteer. Call people. Tell your daughters who are working so hard on their online businesses that they need to register and vote. Tell your sons who are out there doing whatever they're doing, tell them they need to register and vote. Because unless you are filthy rich, if we do not change the direction of this country, this country will suffer. And while it is true the United States has earned its karma, we're in there. And we've earned our karma. But I know you are out there who have been praying and doing spiritual practices and working for good and working nonprofits and care for people of all races. And these are the times and the work that has to get done. And it's always strange when you are talking and don't see anyone. But I was working to help for a project that's going to help people. And I'm here again and next week I'm going to schedule exciting news. And I want to share with you Vibrant Velvet Voice Productions has many businesses and services, but we're going to focus on three. It's a legacy, Woman of Color Legacy Story Project, the Story Healing cool of, School of Life and Races. Race, a concept explored in Story Circle. Links are below for you to check them out. I will be giving more information in the next week, in the next couple of weeks. I just want you to know that you can overcome your fear. You can overcome your anxiety. You can overcome your depression. You can create the world and life you want. We can, as a collective of people who care about each other, we can change the world. And whether you are a Christian, or a Buddhist, Muslim, whatever you believe, whether it's a religion or you don't have any belief, whether you just believe in the mind or consciousness, everything that aspires, every religion, every spiritual tradition, every intellectual tradition says we, each individual human being, has the capacity to ascend and transcend. Let's work on that. Let's collaborate, let's be grateful, let's vote, let's work to ascend and tr transcend. And wherever you are in the world, 
Remember, breathe deeply, smile, and be grateful.